Good day and welcome to your math lesson with your subject teacher, Ms. Lerine May Santiago. This is a quick flashback of your math lessons from your lower years. Adding and subtracting polynomials. We only have one rule in adding or subtracting polynomials. Remember, we can only add or subtract the like terms, just like 2x plus 3x equals 5x. Another one, 2x plus 3xy is equal to 2x plus 3xy. What are these like terms? Like terms or similar terms are terms with the same variable and exponents. For example, we have here 2x and 3x. They are like terms because they have the same variable. Another one is 2xy and 3x. They are not like terms because 2 has x and y, while 3 has x only, so they are not like terms. Another example is 15x squared and 3x squared. They are like terms because they have the same variable which is x and this x is raised to into 2. And that is the exponent. They have the same exponent and they have the same variable. Another example is 15y and 3y squared. They are not like terms although they have the same variable but they have different exponent, so they are not like terms. Another one is 2xy and 4yx. They are still like terms even though the arrangement of the variables are different, so still they are like terms because x and y have one as their exponent, so they are like terms. In adding polynomials, again, we only add like terms. For example, we are going to add 7x plus 3y cubed minus 4xy and 3x minus 2y cubed plus 7xy. So we, we will check what are the like terms. So we can see here that 7x and 3x are like terms. 3y cubed and negative 2y cubed are like terms. And negative 4xy and positive 7xy are also like terms. So we can write it as like this. So we just have to add 7x plus 3x, that is 10x. In adding polynomials, we just have to copy the variables, okay? Another one is 3y cubed minus 2y cubed, that is 1y cubed. But we don't have to write 1. So we have here y cubed. Another one is negative 4xy plus 7xy. So we have here 3xy. Please have a recall with your rules of signs. So the sum of the given polynomials is 10x plus y cubed plus 3xy. Another example, we have here 5y plus 3x squared minus 10 and 3y plus 2x squared plus 10. So we will check again what are the like terms. So we can see here that 5y and 3y are like terms. 3x squared and 2x squared are like terms. And negative 10 and 10 are like terms. So we can write it as like this. So, so when we combine 5y and 3y, we will get 8y. When we combine 3x squared plus 2x squared, that is 5x squared. And negative 10 plus 10 is 0. The sum is 8y plus 5x squared. Another example, we have your 6x squared plus 4x minus 1. And negative 2x squared plus 3x plus 5. Again, we will check what are the like terms. So we can see here that. 6x squared minus 2x squared are like terms. We have here 4x and 3x are like terms and negative 1 and 5 are like terms as well. So we can write it like this. When we combine 6x squared minus 2x squared, that is 6 minus 2. We all know that is 4x squared. 
4 plus 3 is 7. We just have to copy the variable. And 5 minus 1 is positive 4. And that is the sum of the given polynomials. Let us try this one. I'll give you 5 seconds to mentally calculate this example. Again, we can see here that the like terms are 8x squared and 6x squared. Also, we have here negative 3x and 9x. And also negative 3x and 9x. We also have here negative 11 and 5. So we can write it vertically. That is 8 plus 6 is 14x squared. 9 and negative 3 is positive 6x. And negative 11 plus 5 is negative 6. Let us proceed to subtracting polynomials. For example, we have here subtract 3x minus 2y cubed plus 7xy from 7x plus 3y cubed minus 4xy. Please note that we used the word from. It means that we're going to write first 7x plus 3y cubed minus 4xy and our subterhand will be 3x minus 2y cubed plus 7xy. So we will see. We can write it like this. In subtracting polynomials, aside from checking the like terms, we have another rule. This is the subterhand and we have a special rule. For subterhand, we have to change the signs of the subterhand and proceed to addition. In other words, note that we have to change the signs of the subterhand and proceed to addition. In other words, positive 3x will become negative, negative 2y cube will become positive, and 7xy will become negative and we will proceed to addition that is 7 plus negative 3 is positive 4x again please have a recall with your rules of signs we have your positive 3y cube plus positive 2y cube and that is positive 5y cube and another one is negative 4xy plus negative 7xy, that is negative 11xy. And that is the difference of the given polynomials. Example number 2. Subtract 6x squared plus 4x minus 1 by negative 2x squared plus 3x plus 5. Again, we used here the word by. So we will just have to copy the arrangements of the given polynomial. So we can write it vertically as like this. Of course, we need to make sure that we're going to align them based on their like terms. So just like 6x squared is aligned to negative 2x squared because they are like terms. Again, the special rule, we need to change the signs of the sub to hand and proceed to addition. In other words, negative 2x squared will become positive. Negative 2x squared will become positive. Positive 3x will become negative. And positive 5 will become negative. And we will proceed to addition. 6x squared plus positive 2x squared, that is 8x squared. Positive 4x plus negative 3x is positive x. So again, we don't have to write 1. And the last one is negative 1 plus negative 5, that is negative 6. So that is the difference of 8. So that is the difference of the given polynomials. Another example. Subtract 5y plus 3x squared minus 10 by 3y plus 2x squared plus 10. Again, let us be reminded with the words from and by, okay? So we can write it as like this. Again, we have to make sure that they are aligned based on their like terms. Based on our special rule, 
we have to change the signs of the subterhand and proceed to addition again. This rule is only applicable for subtraction of polynomials. In other words, 3y will become negative, positive 2x squared will become negative, and 10 will become negative. And we will proceed to addition. Positive 5y plus negative 3y, that is positive 2y. Positive 3x squared plus negative 2x squared, that is positive x squared. Again, we don't have to write 1. And negative 10 plus negative 10 is negative 20. In other words, we just have to master the rules of the sign. Let us try this example. I will give you 5 seconds to mentally calculate this one. Subtract 8x squared minus 3x minus 11 by 6x squared plus 9x plus 5. So we can write this vertically. So I will give you 5 seconds. Based on the rule again, we have to change the sign of the subterhand. So 6x squared will become negative. Positive 9x will become negative. And positive 5 will become negative as well. And let us proceed to addition. In other words, 8x squared plus negative 6x squared is positive 2x squared. And negative 3x plus negative 9x is negative 12x and negative 11 plus negative 5 is negative 16 so that is the difference thank you so much for watching and i hope you learned something from this video god bless and stay safe